If you were to ask the average baseball fan, who holds the record for the most consecutive games with a hit? Odds are they will know the correct answer right off the top of their head. Joe DiMaggio, 56 games. Now, if you ask the average baseball fan who holds the record for most consecutive games getting on base, odds are they'll have no idea. I asked many of my baseball fan friends. None of them knew the answer. And while there are loads of videos online dedicated to DiMaggio's hit streak, you can find close to nothing dedicated to the on-base streak. And this, my fellow baseball fans, is an unspeakable tragedy because Ted Williams' record of 84 consecutive games reaching base in 1949 is an insane record that deserves more attention. The criteria for the on-base record are that a player must reach base safely each game via hit, walk, or hit by pitch, not via error, fielder's choice, or dropped third strikes. It should not come as a surprise that Ted Williams holds the on-base streak record, as he is still the all-time leader in career on-base percentage, with a ridiculous 482 OBP. Williams got on base nearly 50% of the time for his entire career. But in 1949, he took it to an even higher level. On July 1st, 1949, Ted Williams went 1 for 4 with a single and a walk against the Philadelphia Athletics. And over the next 83 games, Williams would reach base safely every single game. His streak finally came to an end almost three full months after it started on September 28th against the Washington Senators, a game in which Williams only had three plate appearances. Williams was in the on-deck circle when the final out was recorded. During this 84-game streak, Williams posted a 371 average with a 518 on-base percentage and a 1213 OPS. He collected 112 hits and 92 walks, along with five intentional walks, meaning he reached base 209 times in 84 games. Let me repeat that. He reached base 209 times in 84 games. He was also not hit by a pitch one single time during the streak, meaning he truly earned every single game. Let's put this preposterous streak into perspective this way. 84 games is about 55% of the 154 game schedule in 1949, meaning Williams reached base without fail every single game for over half of a full season. So historically, how does Williams record compare with other on base streaks? The second longest on base streak belongs to Joe DiMaggio. Not surprisingly, DiMaggio's streak coincided with his 56 game hit streak in 1941. DiMaggio reached base every game from May 14th through August 2nd, a span of 74 games, still 10 games shy of Williams' record. The third longest streak, 73 games, also belongs to Ted Williams in 1941 and 42, which, strangely enough, also coincided with DiMaggio's 74-game streak. And the fourth best on-base streak of all time, believe it or not, belongs to Orlando Cabrera. Yes, Orlando Cabrera, who had a career OPS plus of 84 and only had one season with an OPS plus above league average, managed to string together a 63 game on base streak in 2006. And only two other players have ever reached 60 games. Mark McGuire from 1995 to 96 and Jim Tomei from 2002 to 2003. The 50 game mark, however, seems to be a bit more attainable. Since 1900, there have been 48 streaks of 50 games or more, which is about every two or three years on average. However, in recent years, it seems it has become much harder to post these types of streaks. Since Orlando Cabrera's 63-game streak in 06, the 50-game mark has only been reached two times. Kevin Millar posted a 52-game streak in 2007, and Shin Su Chu posted a 52-game streak in 2018. And none of the greatest on-base percentage guys of the 21st century have even sniffed Williams' record. Mike Trout's best on-base streak? 40 games. Joey Votto? 48 games. Juan Soto? Only 25 games. Even Barry Bonds, at the height of his powers, reached base in 57 straight games in 2003. Not too shabby, but still 27 games shy of the record. With the increase in pitching velocity, the increase in quality bullpen arms late in games, 
and the increase in strikeouts in today's game, it's seemingly getting harder and harder to put up big on-base streaks. This begs the question, will Ted Williams' record ever be broken? Since Williams set the record in 1949, no one has come within even 20 games of the record. It might actually be one of the most untouchable records there is. So, which record is more impressive, DiMaggio's hit streak or Williams' on base streak? I'm not a mathematician, so I read up as much as I could from people who seem to be a lot smarter than me. And they seem to think that DiMaggio's streak, mathematically speaking, might have been a little bit more difficult to pull off. But it seems there's a few ways to approach this question, and I'm not sure there's a real consensus here. Let's look at it this way. The closest anyone has ever come to breaking DiMaggio's hit streak was Pete Rose in 1978 with a 44-game streak. 44 games is 78.6% of DiMaggio's 56 games. And again, the closest anyone has come to Williams' record since it was set was Orlando Cabrera with 63 games, which is 75% of Williams' 84 games. So, there's only a 3.6% difference in how close anyone has come to breaking either of these records. So they seem to be pretty similar in their degree of difficulty. But no matter how you slice it, both records are ridiculous and I believe equally impressive. So why does DiMaggio's hit streak get so much attention while basically no one talks about Williams' on-base streak? For starters, back in the 1940s, they didn't even track on-base streaks. According to Zach Kreiser of Yahoo Sports, with walks and on-base percentage largely lacking the attention of the era's sports writers, Williams' streaks weren't noted at the time. There was no daily coverage, there was no attention paid, there was no banner with 84 for him to slice through. And even as recently as 1999, in the midst of a Derek Jeter on base streak, Seymour Seawoff, I hope I said that right, of Elias Sports Bureau, told the New York Times that the record simply did not exist because there was no way of tracking it at the time. Even by 1999, nobody had the means of looking at a play-by-play -play of every major league game ever played. Now, of course, we can track that, and we now know that Williams holds the record. But since we didn't find out until about 60 years after it took place, there simply has never been any excitement or fanfare to go along with it. And as a result, Ted Williams' 84-game on-base streak in 1949 is sadly one of the most overlooked and underappreciated records in baseball history.